Hello everybody, this has got to transform them all. I had today uh, some impulse buys essentially to open today. So I have this one uh, hollow foil version of the Gyarados from Burning Shadows, like Team Up Blister, that I found somewhere, I don't even remember where, and decided to buy it just because. Uh, but I also have this three pack plus foil card uh, blister that I picked up at a local Target. Now, these are both just things I just bought on a whim, on impulse, just because. <laughs> and I decided, let's just put these all together and open these up, because I don't feel like... Oh, I, I could make a video on just this, but this one, I, I don't feel like making a video on just this, so we're just going to put it in the video with this opening. <laughs> and we're just going to start with this, actually. Uh, got one pack of Team Up plus the Magikarp and Gyarados Hollow Foil. And a coin, of course, which we'll take a better look at in a moment here. But in the background today, oh, there's actually a code card too, okay. I did not realize there was a code card. There we go. Now, in the background today, we have Sharkton and Bulbasaur, as always, and this little bot bot, because yes, it's another bot bot. I have a bunch of these I've recently purchased that I need to go through. <laughs> uh, but this one is Frost Feratu. It's a little vampire cupcake. <laughs> like, he even, even, like, made the little cupcake, like, shell, like his, like, little, like, Dracula wings. <laughs> or, like, a cape kind of a thing. It's awesome. Like, I love that one. Uh, but we have the Litten coin, if it will focus on it. Not sure if it will. There we go. All right, so there's a little Litten coin. The nice little shattered foil, or a shattered hollow of sorts. So nice. We have the Magikarp from Burning Shadows. Just the same regular common card that you can get from a pack of it. And we have a hollow foil version of the Gyarados from the set. Is this card a hollow normally? I'm actually not sure now, but uh, if it is a hollow normally, it's a different hollow foil pattern. This one's more like a cosmic mirror kind of a hollow pattern. Still very nice. And a code card. I didn't know this came with one. Uh, but I'll give it to you guys. So there you go. And we have one pack of Team Up featuring Zekrom and Pikachu. Let's see if we can get anything from a single pack. I'll give you guys that code as well. Alrighty, so we're going to start this pack with a Litten, Grimer, Execute, Larvitar, Meowth, Evelyn, Pupitar, and Kakuna. Reverse. Moltres, that is a rare reverse. That is awesome. Do I need this one, though? I do not. So it is a duplicate, but still rare reverse means we got two in the pack. The actual rare for the, uh, for the pack is an Electrode Hollow, which is surprisingly the Stitch artwork uh, in this set. I, there may be another one, I forget, but usually the Stitch artworks are just common cards. So that is interesting that they made this one a Hollow. But do I need Electrode? I did! Awesome! So we got a new Hollow pull. Out of the one team up pack. I'm very happy with that. Now we got the three pack blister, which has Roaring Skies and I believe Burning Shadows and Ultra Prism. We'll just see in a moment here. <laughs> I mainly bought this, I think, because I saw Ultra Prism, and that's not exactly a common set to see anymore. So yeah, we got Roaring Skies, Ultra Prism, and Burning Shadows. Get to those in a moment. Our foil card 
is a reverse hollow Alolan Raticate, which to me, I'm fine if they want to include these as, as foils, because they are foils. Like, the entire card outside of the picture is foil. So I have no problems if they want to include these for foil cards and these sort of repackaged things. Although I guess this one's a official Pokemon product, and it's not a repackage. Either way, uh, that is number 77 from the Sun and Moon set. So let me see if that's one I needed. Uh, <laughs> I needed a Lolan Meowth, which is 78. So we got real close numbering wise, but that is a duplicate. So we will go oldest to newest with these packs, starting with Roaring Skies. I remember this being a very popular set when uh, Shaman EX was playable. Uh, no, this one's three and two. What am I doing? I almost put the hollow down. Or rare. Whatever. But you know what I meant. Uh, Wormple, start off this pack. Fletchling. Not to when they did ancient traits. Uh, very short lived, unfortunately. Execute, Togepi, Firo, Skyfield, Ninjask, Reverse, Cascoon. That is an uncommon. Or. Oh no, this one's a common. Interesting. Okay. Right. The rare. <laughs> oh, wow. That's definitely holographic, but not a hollow. That made more sense in my head, I guess, but that is a versus seeker. Secret rare? Holy cow. I didn't expect that. I think I mainly said hollow, I think because the card was curved. And just like how the reverse hollow is curved, mainly because of the hollow like all over the card i just figured a hollow would be curved in the same way but <laughs> i didn't expect a secret rare that is really nice i do have that one uh but that is an awesome pull out of just a random three pack blister I'm I'm just looking up my Roaring Skies set for like what I need, and yeah, okay, I do still need the Energy Switch, so I got the wrong one for the one I needed, but I think between the two Seeker rares, the Versus Seeker is worth a little bit more, because <laughs> Versus Seeker I remember it was a playable card, uh, but now we got Burning Shadows. I'm fine if we go over two now with the Sun and Moon packs here, but obviously I am going to hope for some good pulls. And we'll give you guys the Burning Shadows pack code. Let's see what we can get here. So we're going to start with a Stuffle, Pan Sage, Krogunk, Pikachu, Pan Poor, Rabombi, Curlia, and Olivia. Reverse. Acerola, Acerola, however you want to pronounce it. I think Acerola is probably the better, like, pronunciation to me anyway. That's 112 out of Burning Shadows. Let me see if I need you. Nope, the only trainer I am missing is the Rotom Dex. So Acerola is not the Rotom Dex, so it's definitely a duplicate. Uh, the rare is a Charizard EX. EX? GX. <laughs> that is awesome. Charizard's always popular, always more expensive than other cards, just by the virtue of being Charizard. So that is awesome. We have gone two for two. Technically three for three if you want to count the hollow uh, team up. Uh, pull, but now we're on to Ultra Prism. Dusk Main Necrozma on this pack. Can we go four for four with Ultra Prism here? We shall see. So we have a Hippopotas, Riolu, 
Alolan Diglett, Piplup, Salandit, Yon Mega, Palpad, and Skuntank. Reverse. Alolan Executor, that is a rare reverse, so awesome. Another pack with two rares. 95. Where's Ultra? There we go. 95. And that is a duplicate, so didn't get a new one there, but that is okay. Still have two rares in this pack. The actual rare is a Toxicroak, and that is a non-holo rare. So didn't get anything out of Ultra Prism, but I am far, far, far from disappointed. So, on top of getting a reverse hollow and a hollow uh, from the team up pack, the only pack of team up we had in this opening, with the electrode in particular being a new pull, we had a Charizard GX pull out of Burning Shadows. What I wouldn't have done for that to have been the Rainbow Rare, just so I never have to buy that card. Uh, but I'll still take a regular Charizard. That's still pretty awesome. But easily, the best pull was the VS Seeker. Secret Rare out of Roaring Skies. I do have to say, like as much as I enjoy the full art Secret Rare trainers... They are sort of ruined by the fact that some of the trainers in the Sun and Moon era are the dumbest things. Like you have a whistle, knee pads, a frying pan. I miss the days when they just did Seeker Rares of pure Pokemon items. Like the Versus Seeker, Energy Switch. What, uh, what was it, like Dive Ball was in Primal Clash? I miss those. I miss when they had, like, actual Pokemon items for the trainer cards and not just, like... I mean, they still do that, obviously. Like, Potion's still a thing. Uh, they're still making Pokeball cards. What was it? Uh, like, the surprise box. Like, they, it's at least, like, it's a Pokemon Jack in the box, at least. Uh, but just, like, a frying pan. Like... No. <laughs> Just no. Uh, so yeah, I'm very happy with the pulls out of these these two openings. But that is it for this opening. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the opening. Uh, stay tuned for more videos, of course. And have a great day.